Hey guys, welcome back to Patrick's Basics, and today I went along the Swamp Rabbit Trail and collected 10 geocaches. So, here we go. This first one I wrote my name on. It's been there for a bit a while at the time. Just go ahead and put it back. Made sure nobody on the Swamp Rabbit Trail was looking on me. This next one had a clever ma magnet on it. Put it, stuck it right up there so it wouldn't fall down. I, I, uh got that one done off camera then here's this one it's kind of stuck up here in this where the barbed wire used to attach to and it just has the log inside in a bag so I wrote my name on there then rolled it back up put it back in the bag made sure the bag was closed uh, made sure no muggles were around put it back here's this one under a stump and just get me getting it out of there you, this set of one had a lot of poison ivy around it. You always want to be careful with that. It's just opening up here. You have some logs, some this little trophy that says winner on it. Put that back in there. Get the log out, signed it, and put it back right in there. All right, next I kind of got this one in a pretty hard spot off a little like area in a tree, like in the middle of it, but uh. Right where my name on the log, not many people on it, but roll that back up and put it in the bag. All right, just put it back in the container, put it right where I found it. All right, so here, this is a big muggle spot, but I found the little, this one with the little magnet stuck in between these two plexi, plexiglass pieces. So just pulled that out, made sure the case was clear then to open it and right on the log. There's a pretty clever little container right there. And it's pretty nice too. So just wrote my name on that. Give them some proof, made sure the coast was clear, put it back in, and then there, I wasn't able to put it, uh, show up, get a recording of putting it back on camera because it was just too, a little too dangerous with people around. This next one was on the bell tower uh, at Furman. So this one was also with magnets right under the stair, very low stair. So luckily nobody was around at this time, so I just kind of opened it up. They had some little like congrats things, some little pieces of plastic, and then right, there's the log. So nothing, nothing much in there. But I wrote my name on it. You can see it down at the bottom right there. I put that back in, close it up, and put it back under where I found it. Next one, this is a pretty a classic one, uh, right in between, like, on one of these little metal posts. Another one of these magnetic ones with a little ball on top. Went ahead and wrote my name on that. Curl back up and put it back in a little container. Make sure to get it nice and tight with my fingers. Go ahead and put it back. Oh, and that bike right there is my dad, not a muggle. All right, next one, this is a pretty easy one. It's right in this little birdhouse right here. I heard there's a lot of mice in here, so I was a little scared to open it at first, but luckily nobody was making their home right now. So I'm gonna get the geocache out, open it up, and we'll see what's inside. All right, here's the log and a bag under that. We just have a few just random things, golf ball and this little plastic one. So this one has a ton of names, hundreds of names on it. So I wrote it, got to the bottom, wrote mine on, put that top back on, make sure it's nice and push it down, and then I put it right back in the birdhouse. Made sure to close the roof nicely. It is in a little bit of worse condition. Might need to replace the birdhouse sometime. And then this last one right here under this little rock inside this uh, old dead tree. So that was pretty cool. Just got out of there. So this one seems a little newer. So I opened it up. So they have a little plastic unicorn in here. Pretty cute. They have this little odd bolt kind of thing. There's some threads in there. And then a dime. Alright, here's the log. Not many signatures on it. Go ahead and put that, wrote my name up, put that back in, and put, and close it all back up. There we go. Go ahead and put it right back in the stump, and put the rock back over it. 
there we go. If this is your first geocaching video and you want to start geocaching to find these, you can go download the app, but you always want to make sure and be careful about people around you watching you that don't know about geocaching. So you want to make sure that they're not going to mess around with the geocache when you leave or anything like that. So anyways, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button and go ahead and consider subscribing. Go ahead, turn on those posts notifications so you'll never miss out when I upload a new video. Bye!